there's no Republican that can legally make it into the White House the way that the elections are set up right now. I've done a close analysis of this. The six swing states, Georgia and Arizona and Pennsylvania, Michigan, Wisconsin, I guess North Carolina, uh, what else? Georgia, thank you. Those states have counties, six counties, that are so tightly wrapped up by the devil that it's virtually impossible for you to see an election go through that grid work and come out honest unless there's a divine intervention. I just want you to know what we're up against. But I suggested to Mario, if we do a fire and glory tour, what I would do is I would want to go to every one of those swing states and I would make it a goal to break down the stronghold over each of those counties. It's a demonic stronghold. And what you just seen there is a false teacher. His name is Lance Wano. For those of you that are new and don't know who he is, he's a guy that has been in the mainstream for a minute now pushing this dominionism and we're not going to get into that. Just know that he's a false teacher that travels the nation and has a very strong following. And he is the one where J.D. Vance has showed up to this event that he's going around the nation in, in, in these swing states and all of this thing supposedly to break this stronghold because he is so obsessed with trying to force Christianity down people's throats, a perverted version of Christianity. And he's the same guy that talks crazy about Kamala and anybody else that don't agree with him. Take a listen. And what you're seeing now is a real Jezebel. You're going to see a lot of people saying that it doesn't, you know, it's like, does, it's like Pentecostal 101 when you've got somebody operating in manipulation, intimidation, and domination, especially when it's uh, in a female role trying to emasculate a man who is standing up for truth, you're dealing with a Jezebel spirit. So with Kamala, you have a Jezebel spirit, a characteristic in the Bible, that is the personification of intimidation, seduction, domination, and manipulation. Four strains. What was accomplished was she can look presidential. And that's, we'll go to this later, that's the seduction of what I would say is yeah. witchcraft. That's the manipulation of imagery that creates an impression contrary to the truth, but it seduces you into seeing it. So that's so that spirit, that occult spirit, I believe, is operating on her and through her, similar to with Obama, that there's a kind of an angel of light, charisma. You can see yep. it at the DNC. And so when you're up against that, the good news is if we're going to go full tilt Pentecostal, Jezebel may be the spirit you're up against. But then Trump has like an Elijah mantle on him, probably from the intercession of a million Christians. Fortunately, if you got a Jezebel, you have an Elijah. So we have to double down in intercessory prayer, in, in the warfare mode of, of, of Pentecostals. We also have to come together in higher unity. I'm distressed by the division that exists in the church. All the fault lines are showing up now, scandals and incrimination. We need to close ranks and actually begin to get in a superlative agreement over what we believe we're hearing God say he wants to manifest. Because this election is coming five days after Halloween, another mm. high holy day for the, all the Satanist crazy people. So we've got to literally, I'm in a place of fasting and prayer now because I'm yep, saying yep. we've got to lean into this thing because the Elijah mantle can break the spell of witchcraft off America. God yeah. can tear the veil, and unless that veil is torn, we have a lot working against us. And as you can see, you see that the the guy's nuts, and the Mario Morello, the guy that's with him, that I want you to see his little buddy that that's with him, that goes out the type of people that he hangs out with. Take a listen to him. Mario said, "America." was founded by a group of Christians. I'm gonna try it again. A group of Christians. I'm gonna try it one more time. A group of Christians. What we're living in is that we are being lied to on a level we have never seen in American history. It's possible that the world has never seen lies that they're 
this technologically advanced. I'm certain that's true. And whenever there's a lie, the devil is behind it. So the child of God in this hour needs to understand what this moment means. And that's him, giving false information. America's founded as a Christian nation. We talked about that. No, that's not true. It was not. And, and then you hear him talk about a lie. Oh, it, 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 all of this stuff about a lie. Uh, it, it, ain't it ironic? Who's the biggest liar that's running right now? But this is the people that J.D. Vance decided to go hang out with. And you know why? The reason why I made the video is because it boils back down to how we stick to these evangelicals or whatever you want to call them. It shows you that, once again, they are being played like a fiddle, played like fools, and they're just so, I mean, foolish. They go to these events to watch Lance Winnow talk crazy. We're in the third grade awakening. People don't know they're going to look back on it in the future. And I honestly believe they'll look back and I know this is going to get me in trouble. They're going to say the populist civic awakening began when believers prayed in Trump to disrupt the status quo. I believe that. The only people that don't agree with me are religious people and people that got devils. We're in the third grade awakening. I was with Carol Lake last week. Uh, I should have got a picture with her. It was such a strange experience. I was, I was talking to her about some people in, in Trump's headquarters that I thought she knew. She never heard of who they are. I thought, oh, she's living a bit in a silo herself. But I love Carrie Lake. I love General Flynn, too. A great guy. And we're going we're gonna to have them on the tour. We're going to have Carrie Lake. We're going to have General Flynn. We're going to have Eric Trump. It's, 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 what? it's a Holy Ghost Fire in Glory tour.com we're going to go through those swing states Bam! in Jesus name with Pentecostal power go there do you see he, he talk crazy uh, hanging out with Carrie Lakes a lion woman that's going to lose by a landslide in Arizona this, 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 these folks are crazy and they continuously they are so desperate in any kind of way to get their agenda forward and force it on the people with this mega crap that they're willing to do it at all costs. And J.D. Vance and Trump knows that. And they know that they can, they're going to siphon every vote that they can get in any kind of way. And if it means going to people that are delusional, that listening to this Lance 1-0 and, 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 and calling people witches and, and, and demons and all of this other stuff as if they're possessed and, and that it's another person that's going around and, and, and that, you know, that we've got to defeat this or, or things are just going to totally collapse. But this is the first time that I've publicly been able to talk about this word from God that I've received, and I want to give it to you. And we're going to talk together about it, Todd. The first point is she is a daughter of lies. She has fabricated uh, an incredible amount of her entire life. She is set for the destruction of this country. And, and I believe that the, the first phrase I got was daughter of lies. The second phrase that I got was, we will not come back from this. Right. You see, we're going to survive under Trump. We are going to survive the Bidenomics. We'll come back from it. We'll, I believe we'll even come back from the deficit. But what Camilla will do will finish us off. We'll be done. The standard of the living, the standard of living of the United States of America will be permanently lowered from this point on. If we don't get it our way. You know that this is nothing, but that you want to talk about what's demonic because the Lord didn't give us a spirit of fear. He gave us a power, love, sound mind. He did not give us a spirit of fear to where we've got to have the sheets over our head and peek it out because, oh, my God, it, it, it's the end of the world. Oh, it's become so crazy now. I, I can't go outside. Oh, oh, no, I I'm not going to have anything to eat this week because it's not going to be anything there in the stores anymore or whatever, whatever. But we know during that pandemic time, what happened? 
Yeah, it was chaotic once when it when it in there. Who was in charge during that time when the chaos of that happened? So that's a whole nother subject. So you want to talk about demonic and things like that, where you got people, you instilling so much fear in the people because you're trying to force your agenda, your form of perverted form of Christianity down a person's throat that you're trying to scare them to death, as the old saying goes. Scare them to death. And, 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 and look at these people that look foolish. We thank you for this Donald Trump that you raised up. And Lord, even now we lift up a voice on his behalf that you will cause your hand to come upon his head. You will cover his ears so that he only hears what you are saying. Your hand will be on his heart so that he only feels what you want him to feel. And I pray in the name of Jesus that as his enemies had dug a pit for him, that he would fall into it, that they will fall into it themselves. We rebuke every witchcraft curse, vex, spell that has been launched against him, his wife, his children, and his enterprise. And we ask you to fill him with the Holy Ghost. Let him be filled with the power of the Holy Spirit. Now you pray in the Holy Ghost for Donald Trump. We rebuke what they're doing right now. We pray that this will actually become an embarrassment to them. That when they try to arrest him, when they try to accuse him of stirring up insurrection, that you will, Lord, cause your spirit to make the wheels on the chariot of Pharaoh come off. Look at that. You see all of them people in that church? You see that? That's a lot of people sitting there listening to this guy that's lying in the Lord's, that's lying on the Lord. Sitting there speaking in the Lord's name, lying, flat out lying. And set up there speaking, and, and that's not a, and call itself speaking in tongues. I'm going to call that a demonic tongue. Why he's standing up there claiming to speak for the Lord because the spirit of the Lord is not with somebody that preaches hate, that preaches lies, that preaches division. If you call yourself, because I believe he was a former pastor at a certain point and things, if you call yourself a minister or whoever you are, or a believer or whatever, and you are doing these various things, you don't represent the Lord. You are a wolf in sheep's clothing as you stand there because people go to these events, and I'm sure out in the out in the halls and wherever they have, oh, they got materials out there, items that you can buy. You can buy all of these various items. They might even have some of them Trump watches out there that he's got on for sale right now. So, you know, and, and these these are the same people. Oh, my God, the gas. Oh, my God, the food. Oh, my God, this costs that or this, that or that. But they're quick to whip out their card, their wallet, their purse and go right to one of these fake events and put and put money in the pockets of these charlatans. And, you know, it, 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 it's this it's a, it's a disgrace. And these are the people, that's why I talk about, these are the ones that are in the forefront for it to make national. He's a big figure within this movement. Look at this poster here. You see that? You see them faces? These are all false teachers. Some of them are Lena Haba, as you see on there. She's a, 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 a the attorney, Trump's attorney. But as you see, but she's then got in good with graces with, with because of that. She's not uh, uh, but claiming to speak or pray at all. How do you want these people praying for you? I mean, will you really want these types of people? Pray? If I was on my deathbed or sick or something, would you want one of these types of people to walk in the room and pray for you? Because that's unfortunate because unfortunately, a lot of these people that are going to these events are letting these types of people lay hands on them. You know, and, and, and touching them and praying over them and, and you sitting in there. You want to talk about linking yourself up with demons and the demonic. That's a great way because you are linking up with someone that is not walking with the Lord. Because anytime you go to these types of events, the spirit of the Lord is not there. 
because the Lord is not the author of confusion. He's not going to be about people that have hatred within their hearts. He's not going to promote none of that. And you think that you're going to sit there and break whatever strongholds or shackles and all of these, whatever you're talking about. When in reality, they're the ones that are shackled up in their minds, shackled up in their hearts and shackled up with their lips because they're in their tongue because they ain't doing nothing but working for the enemy to divide and destroy the church. And, uh, and, and, and as someone had mentioned, what is going on? Is it the Lord weeding out those that were wolves all along within the church realm in this move in the van, you know, that's within the body of Christ and weeding them out? Or is the devil using certain people to uh, uh, destroy the church? It's, you know, that's a fascinating question. It, you know, it, it could go either way or could it be both? And I'd like to hear some of you guys' comments on what you think about that. But I just wanted you to see what's going on. Evangelicals, evangelicals continue to be played like fools and they go right along with it. It's just like walking right off the plank. And J.D. Vance comes right on in. I, I think he's, a, what is, I, I don't know, Catholicism. I, he's, I, I don't know, he's not a Christian. So, but he knows that he can go into that and play as a lot of people do. And they go right along with it because they feel like they're getting something out of that. But in reality, it's going to be nothing but a empty, uh, 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 as the old game show go. You, what is that game show where you pick what's behind the door and you're going to find out there's nothing there. So that's all I have, Evangelism for God is the channel where we talk about issues the church run away from. My name is Maurice Braxton, and what else do we do? Punch the devil head on him. Punch, uh, take the devil head on. Punch him right in between the chops. Until the next video, my friends, take care. God bless.